Second life of YouTube? Oh, I mean, yeah, I guess back to YouTube and just YouTube's been crazy because I'm now starting to see more like long form views as well as short form. Which is great. You said the the comment linking is really good. Yeah, I mean, YouTube has a whole new thing now. If you guys are thinking about becoming creators, now is the time to become a creator. Now is the time because they're still pushing shorts. They're pushing shorts and now shorts are pushing long. So just, I think if there's a time to do it, now's the time to do it. If there's a platform to be on, YouTube's a platform to be on. Now, this is this is my actual question. Um, do you think that... No. Yeah, I was going to say, do you think you're going to grow much bigger? <laughs> but that makes sense. You, yeah, you do have a lot of self-hate in that heart. Um, do you think that if you are posting content continuously in a certain niche, right, like you, um, you just do straight comedy. I just posted a horror video, actually. Thank you very much. Yeah, it was a comedy horror. Right. Um, <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> uh, but say you wanted to transition to lifestyle. Uh -huh. Do you think if you are just consistently posting and pushing and posting and pushing and posting that you like any creator can make that transition? Or do you think that your channel will die? No, I don't think the channel will die. I think, I think if you do it right, it's it's possible. I don't think you could just completely. Armon picked up the mic like he is about to go in. What does he do now? No, I, I, see, I have I no think, idea. Lifestyle vlogs. That's does the he thing, really? Like, I, see, I think that's different just because it's PewDiePie. You know, PewDiePie could set up a camera in the corner of his room and not say a word and show the back of his head and get 100 million views if he really wanted to. Right. But for the average creators, if if you want to make that transition, I think. There's, there's a way to start. Like if, let's say I want to get into horror, right? Yep. I do what I just did where I start posting comedy horrors. Yeah. And eventually that comedy just starts to die down a little more and it just starts getting just visually scarier and just scarier and scarier. And then now I'm a horror creator. Now, if you want to make that transition to lifestyle, you have to understand where you want to be with the lifestyle content. Like this is the kind of content I want to put out. Yeah. What are the connecting factors with what I'm doing now to that? Yeah, I agree. And I, I think it's a slow, dude. I, I don't think, I, I don't think I could just overnight. You think that would be like a year process? Yeah. Yeah. Let's say a year. I think, I think so. Now, second question. Do you think that dead accounts can be revived? Yeah. Cause I mean, I was talking to Adam too. You guys, you guys probably saw the episode with Adam, Adam from New Zealand, right? Mm -hmm. He said his page was dead completely dead on YouTube. Was he still posting or did he, he was posting? Just no views, nothing until huh. he had that segment with the, um, security family. No way. That broke, I think 500 million views on YouTube and has built him the strongest core foundation out of the people I know. Yeah. Oh my gosh. They are phenomenal fans. And yeah, I mean, just from that series has built something so big after such having a, that account is what he called it. Yeah, that's interesting. That's, I mean, that's, you know, that's a positive thing to know where it's like, as long as you are posting consistently, it doesn't matter if it's a transitional account, a dead account, a new account or whatever, that there's still that space in YouTube where you can grow. And um, I mean, we know this, the viewers don't, but I'm going more and more into the business side of everything. And even on the business side, dude, it's cr like if you are just consistently posting on like LinkedIn or, or, or YouTube or whatever, and you have like your corporate account, it's so benefit. It's, it's crazy how beneficial content is to a, your career, regardless of what it is. 